these strings are jacked they will not stay in tune but I'm back to this because I wanted to you know if you go to this guy Trogley's guitars he does uh, <clears throat> inter or not interviews but he he does you know Gibson stuff the Gibson will send him a thing and he'll do a uh, oh come on my mind is gone he will review the guitar and they sent him the Gibson version of this exact it's everything the dot inlays everything except it says Gibson and it comes with P90s which suck dick whoever dick is this guy he's down on uh, 6th Street anyways this I'm just when I saw it I'm like really you're gonna try to and then he pulls off this plate <clears throat> which shows really bad workmanship I took this off and it actually looked really nice but since the other one has P90s this has to go up here to cover up the big space and I'm thinking, why would they even cover that up? I mean, what's there to cover? It should just be blue. And he takes the friggin' thing off, and it's all jacked up. From doing... He takes all the plates out, because P90s are shit. They're crap, noisy, stupid, ugly pickups. I don't know why people even use them. He takes everything out, the plates under them and everything which were put in and installed wrong, and this is a Gibson, sends him this guitar to review, <clears throat> and it's a pile of junk. He just is going on about how beautiful the color is. It's the exact same color as this, buddy, and this didn't cost me anything, but you can pick these up for a hundred and something, under 200 bucks, and it's, the, it's just as good. Who cares if it's a bolt-on, remember? The best sounding playing guitar in the world was a bolt-on. Eddie Van Halen. This whole neck through thing is all, uh, you know, sustain and tone. Very little to do with it. It does, it has very little to do. Actually, bolt-ons give you a thicker tone, I've found. A fatter tone, let's say. You can't hear any of this. Oh, now you can. I'm glad I turned that on. I don't remember doing that, but it's on, right? Okay, so anyways, <clears throat> I've been trying to tune this up, but the strings are so jacked that I'm like, the hell with it. I just tune the tune it down. So I'm going to play a little bit, and then I'm out of here. Me and my friend are going down to Hollywood. We're going to cruise Sunset Strip at midnight, and we're going to talk about uh, when I used to play down there and hopefully something in my memory will come back and him too because that's why I'm bringing him because I can't remember anything I was that's the thing if you can remember the 80s then you either were not there or you weren't doing it right <laughs> there's just a lot of it I don't remember and I need people there to help me <laughs> but uh, so I'm going to be doing that or I'm going to be leaving in a couple hours and see you down on the strip and then I'll post that next week sometime because it's going to be who knows how long it'll be I'm going to start from where I used to park up by the uh, whatever the liquor store's name is I can't remember it's right on the corner Doheny and Sunset I'll show you the bus where the bus bench was where Saul or Slush Slash would be passed out and I'd kick him and tell him to take a shower because he stunk and then I'd continue walking down in my heels and go to either a club or the rainbow a lot. If I wasn't playing, I was going into the rainbow and fishing for rainbow trout. So that's what you'll hear on the other tape. Got it? Good. <laughs> Thank you.
suicide solution. <laughs> Just out of tune to where it sounds bad, so I'm not going to continue on that. I'm just going to shred for a second and then call it a day. Ready, begin. <laughs> You know what? This <laughs> needs new strings. That is the end of that. I'm not going to play this f***ing thing until it freaking stays in tune. Okay, you got to hear it. It's just... Ugh. It's like somebody, you know, scraping their fingers on the chalkboard. I mean, I can't get it to stay in tune. It's it, and as far as uh, setting it up, you know, you have to go back and forth here, and I'm gonna let my tech do it. I don't. I don't have the time for this crap. It is out, I can tell. That's an easy way to see if your setup is a little off. Is, uh, hit the, uh, you know. Okay, that's, that's out anyways. It, I, I tone it, I tune it, it's tuned down, but it goes right it goes flat immediately but that's not right it should be you know I gotta you know you should put a tuner on there to see if it you know once you do that and then you, you hit the harmonic or you can just hit that and if it's both exactly the same then your setup is probably okay But this one all no actually no it could be lowered because I want I'm gonna have a thicker gauge put on and it'll need to be uh, set up for that and so it'll need to be lowered down so time to call <laughs> whatever his name is I can't remember and have him work on this because it needs it see you down at the strip late. And I liked friggin' that Motley Crue like a virgin. I friggin' liked it. Everybody else is crazy if they don't like it. Later. It'll make sense when you see the movie. Bye.